Hey, hey, hey everyone. Welcome back to Never Alone Homestead. My name is Cammie and welcome back to the homestead. Well guys, it is harvest time here onto the homestead every which way and these right here that you're seeing is potatoes. Massive amounts of potatoes. Actually into the video you cannot see all the potatoes that I have here because there's just hundreds of potatoes here. Not only that, I got potatoes sitting over there. I've been eating potatoes. I've been canning potatoes. So today, guys, I want to talk to you about growing potatoes in your yard. Growing potatoes in your yard, you need to choose a spot in your yard with lots of sun. Potatoes grow best with eight hours of sunlight. Buy seed potatoes from a garden supply or order them offline. And the best way to grow potatoes is from potatoes. Yes, the best way to grow potatoes is from potatoes, but not just any potato, or grow your own potatoes and save those, save those potatoes and save some of those potatoes for next year. If you save them for next year, when it's time for planting, they should have sprout or sprouts on them, and then you're ready for planting because they'll have sprouts on them. You're ready for planting. So most potatoes from the grocery store, you must know, have been sprayed with pesticides, which can spread diseases throughout your whole crop. They're sprayed with pesticides that keep them from sprouting. Potatoes can be cooked many different ways, and they're, they're very nutritious and really easy to grow. You can take a seed potato, put it in a sunny place in a large pot, a bucket with holes in the bottom of it, raised beds or your garden or a vertical planter or in your greenhouse bed. If you, um, if you don't have compost, then you can buy a balanced commercial fertilizer and uh, fertilizer or super phosphate or buy bone meal, which are available at your garden supply store. You plant your potatoes in holes 12 inches apart. If you decide to cut your potatoes in halves, make sure they're cured about a week or two after you cut them. I like to wait at least two weeks after cutting to be well cured so they don't rot into the ground. Then you're going to place your half potato cut side down four inches deep into the hole with the eyes up, the sprout up, pointing up forward toward the sun then cover with soil. That's all you gotta do. You got the eyes pointed up toward the sun, then you're gonna cover it with soil, and then you're gonna well water. And they prefer summer temperatures around about 70 degrees. But they can handle slightly uh, above temperatures, but they like the temperatures around uh, 70 degrees. They like at least the six to eight hours of sun a day. And you're going to plant in late spring. Of course, the time that you plant depends on the area that you live in. Here onto the East Coast, we start planting around the middle of February. But experts, gardeners recommend planting potatoes around the time of the last expected frost. So the time may vary or does vary based on where you live at. I like to go ahead and make my rows and heal it up and then put my potatoes four inches deep. But some people don't heal their potatoes until they see the stems of the potatoes. Put the soil up around the stem when you see it to create an incline on both sides and continue healing about once a week. It will protect the baby um, potatoes from being exposed to direct sunlight. With, if they're exposed to direct sunlight, your potatoes are going to turn green. Harvest your potatoes after 70 to 100 days and your potato plants will uh, begin to show a sign that they have matured. Its leaves will turn, start turning yellow and the foliage will start dying back. Is meaning it's time to harvest them. Leave them into the soil additional about two or three weeks into the weather, um, if the weather permits, and then dig them up with a pitchfork and be careful not to get too close to the plant because it will stab the potato 
and then gather them up with your hands. So it's this very simple, fast, if you can say it like that, easy way of growing potatoes. Because potatoes pretty much, once you get them in the ground, they, you get them growing, they pretty much take care of their self. I've had to dig these up three, two to three weeks ahead of time because of the weather here. We had some rain. My soil was uh, pretty moist. And I looked at my potatoes um, plants and I was like, they're really green. The foliage had fell over, but they're still green. The plants look beautiful. And so I, my plan was to leave them in the ground for two or three more weeks. But I made that call to go ahead and dig these potatoes up because of them talking about the rain that we was going to get here. And I'm so glad I did because we got massive rain here. And if you leave your potatoes into the ground, they're going to rot. Uh, these potatoes, if with the weather had permitted, would have been in the ground two or three more weeks. And look, guys, these potatoes are huge. They're just, they're, they're huge. They're big potatoes. And so my first plant I dug up, I could not believe how big these potatoes was. I do got some small potatoes, so if they could have stayed into the ground a couple more weeks, then these potatoes would have been a lot bigger. But I'm not complaining because I got a lot of big potatoes here. Nice size potatoes. But I can only imagine what two or three more weeks would have gave for the rest of the little ones here. Now, the little baby ones too probably would have been a lot bigger than this right here. But these right here, I'm going to put them in jars. These right here got dirt on them. When you dig them out of the uh, soil, you don't want to um, wash your potatoes off because then you're going to create them to possibly rot. Now here I have them laying on a sheet because I was like, where am I going to put all these potatoes? I prayed to God. I said, God, I just want some potatoes because we had a, a, a rainstorm that came here and it destroyed my garden. It destroyed the garden peas. It destroyed the potatoes. And that created me to get three weeks behind planting. Once I got the, the ground kind of dried up some and then got some potatoes in there, I was about three weeks behind. So I needed to wait three more weeks to let these potatoes mature a little bit more, but actually they're perfect. So, you know, you don't want to leave your potatoes in the ground too long. Just look at the foliage and that foliage, the leaves on there will tell you when it's time to harvest. But in a case of mine, my leaves were still green but the weather the weather was saying they would have a like a lots of a rain and you know they was calling for like a week's worth of rain i didn't want to take a chance of leaving these potatoes in the ground so guys let's take a look at the other potatoes over there oh so i got this laying on a sheet a sheet like a bed sheet um and when you put them out these have not been washed you want to space them out you don't really want you don't want them touching so I had to individually place these potatoes on this sheet so that they, the, not only when I brought them in here, the dirt that's on them was wet. So when I really looked at the potatoes and how wet that dirt was on the potatoes, it was definitely a good call to go ahead and dig these potatoes up. So when I put them on the sheet, you, or what, you can put them on cardboard or, you know, a tarp something like that, but you want to space them out to give them air room to breathe so they can start curing. And uh, once they start curing, well, after uh, about two or three weeks they cure, you can put them in your cellar, you can put them in a cool, dry place, and they should store for a pretty good time. Now, obviously, these potatoes here, I cannot um, put in my refrigerator, so I'm definitely going to be doing a whole lot of canning and and some eating because i really appreciate god giving me this harvest here because i just wanted some potatoes i wanted some garden peas i did get some garden peas after three plantings but i wanted i wanted my potatoes i just so desire some potatoes this year and i had 10 pounds of seed potatoes that i bought at my local um seed store and uh 10 pounds i got four bushels over four bushels i have got over four bushels this year so god has really been good to me and i'm so thankful for that 
But I just want to share these tips with you because you also can grow your own potatoes. And there's nothing like homegrown potatoes. If you ever taste homegrown potatoes and then you taste the store-bought store ones, you know that you're eating old. And don't forget, they are spraying those potatoes with pesticides. Now, you can can those potatoes at the grocery store, but I would suggest peeling the skins off of those potatoes before you can them because they have been sprayed. Well, guys, let's take a look at these other potatoes over here that I've got sitting over here. And I'm going to show you the ones that's been washed and the ones that has not. So here are the potatoes. And this one I have laying out on a towel. This is a bread rack here. So it's getting a good air from the bottom and top all the way around. I've got them spaced out. And these potatoes right here are laying on a towel. Now, these have been washed. Nice size potatoes, no complaints. I am very happy with the potatoes. Nice size, bigger potatoes back there in the back. There is some smaller ones, so th they're going to be eaten and, and canned and put in some beans and string beans and garden peas. These have not been washed. Those have been washed. These have not been washed. And of course, these are smaller ones. These are the last ones that I took out of a, a tote. I almost had that tote filled up. Um, so if I hadn't ate and hadn't canned some, the tote probably would have been filled up. So these, um, have not been washed and they're smaller. So these are definitely set aside because these are definitely the ones I'm going to be canning. A lot of these I'm going to be canning because they are smaller. These small ones right here, when you're growing your potatoes, you don't waste those. They're good for putting in some food, some beans, some string beans or whatever, or canning. And uh, so, yeah, nice size potatoes, nice size. So I'm very happy about this. And uh, they have really, really been good eating. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you so much. If you haven't liked, please like and subscribe. If you haven't tapped that bell, so you'll know when I've loaded up a next video, please tap a bell. If you got any comments, leave me a comment. And thank you so much for being supportive and helping me to get out there into the YouTube land without any likes and comments and sharing uh, the videos. Then the videos just stay right there and just little, they don't go anywhere. So I feel like I got a lot to offer. I've been growing all my life and uh, so I... I'm still learning. I think you never stop learning anything. I think there's always something to learn at, um, off of somebody. Somebody's got something out there to say that they have experienced in their life. Now, my experience is that I will share with you, I like to make my heels really high. I, I, I make them about that, about that high. You know, I, I make them up high high as I can get them, I put my potatoes in it, because to me, that gives the potatoes, the plant, a, a roots, enough room for the roots to grow. It also gives um, the potatoes um, lots of room to grow. They're not fighting through hard soil. They're just in their home little environment. Okay, guys, thank you so much. And remember, guys, make it a great day. Yeah, harvest time. Harvest time. So excited. Hey everyone, welcome to Neverline Homestead. Well guys, I'm out here digging the potatoes, which I hadn't planned on it because the bushes have not even died out yet. But we've had a lot of rain and I've already dug up a bushel of potatoes. What's amazing to me is how big they are. So these are the ones I just dug up and a while ago I had actually half of these was on one potato bush. So like I said, the plants have not died out yet. I dug a bushel up from the raised bed over there and now I'm going to reach down here and see what is on this plant. We've got more rain coming in and by looking at the potatoes, by looking at the potatoes, I'm thinking they need to get out of the ground. Guys, check that out. That is huge. I, 
Look at that. Just huge. And I want to leave them in the ground, but I'm seeing these little white spots right there. So that's telling me maybe I should get them out of the ground. If you think not, leave me a, a message. Leave me a comment below. Look at that, guys. And tell me what you think. Right now, I'm very happy with this harvest. It's been a, a year of determination. And uh, I tell you what, it has paid. It has really, really paid off. That's the seed potato right there. I'm going to toss it to the side. And uh, ugh. look at these potatoes. My cat says, yeah, yeah, look at that. Off of one potato plant. Guys, I am so happy with this harvest. It's been a real struggle this year. The grand sale minimum. The way the things are going. And, uh, you know, the weather is, is, you know, time I put these potatoes in that um, bucket over there, I'll just about have a half a bushel of potatoes off of two plants. Yeah, my hands are dirty. So I'm going to get the dig in here to get these potato, uh, potatoes up because we got more rain coming in. As a matter of fact, it was supposed to be raining right now. And I'm so thankful to God for these potatoes because I got out here at uh, winds of blowing 25 miles an hour, expecting the frost, trying to cover these plants up. I, you know, I just wanted some potatoes and guys, I got my harvest. I am so thankful to God for doing this for me. So I'm going to go ahead and get these potatoes, try to go ahead and, and dig some more. You see these plants? They're not even dead. I really thought I'd have about two more weeks, but we got, if it doesn't change, we got a whole week worth of rain, and I don't want to lose my harvest, not when you're looking at potatoes like this. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Give me a thumbs up. And remember to make it a great day. Hero, you making it a great day, buddy? You making it a great day? Huh? You making it a great day? Huh? You wouldn't get dirty out here. Thank you guys. And remember to subscribe and hit that bell so you when you will know when I'm loading up the next video. Wow, man. The first potato plant I dug up, I was totally amazed to see potatoes this big so i've already put um i've already put uh what would i put up i've already put a um a half a bushel in the house rinsed those off and then i went and took another half a bushel in the house it rinsed those off i put them in a container right now because i left the dirt on them because i'm gonna have looks like i'm gonna have so many potatoes in just a minute i'm gonna have a half a bushel and i've only gone through from here to down to that row to the end of the row right there so i don't know maybe that is approximately about 12 feet hey guys i'm so loving this thank you so much and remember to make it a great day